never been a time I try to research a story that I don't find something crazy on the internet. Dark, strange things happen every day around us. Sometimes we don't even know it until someone reports it. Sometimes it happens to a place we are familiar with and sometimes it happens to people we know. There's this story I came across in 2018 and I thought it was one of those kidnapped stories where the victim is thrown into something or you know killed in a very gruesome manner. Another thing is the more you research this type of stories or you listen to it, you start to feel different, you start to become paranoid, you start to be more aware of your surroundings because this is not just a story to entertain, it is also to educate and warn the public of what is going on around them. You will not believe what happened to the young woman in this story I'm about to share with you guys. Sometime in January of 2018, neighbors began perceiving a terrible stench coming from a septic tank in a yard. Initially, they thought it was just the usual foul smell that escapes the soccer way on a hot day. But as the days went by, the smell became unbearable and overwhelming to ignore. They, they cannot understand where this bad smell is coming from. And mind you, Nigeria is always very hot, so any slightest decay would trigger this powerful odor around you and even beyond. Meanwhile, an 18-year-old girl known as Chiburoma Bones had been missing for a couple of days when people inquired about her whereabouts from her father. He gave one excuse or the other. Chiburoma was said to have been quarreling with her father he would hit her openly, call her names, and threaten to do harm to her if she didn't change her weights. It appeared that Chiburama was uh, promiscuous. She, you know, she had friends, she partied, she hung out with a lot of people, and sometimes she would sleep outside the home, which kind of stressed her father. But one day she came home with an illness that no one knew where she got it from. Worst of all, all the money spent could not even bring her close to healing. So, as the days went by, Chiburoma became bedridden. She could barely do things for herself. She had to wait until someone comes and picks her up to urinate, to bait, to eat, and so forth. So, back to the smell in the soccer way. When people could no longer shake off that terrible smell, rumors had it that one of the neighbors, you know, with his nose, he traced it down to Chiburoma's father's house. When he got there, that was the soccer way and when he looked inside he noticed someone's leg sticking out so he alerted the police and on the 24th of january 2018 a group of policemen stormed the house which belonged to chiburoma's father and ordered some men to start digging the soccer way shortly they brought out the body of 18 year old chiburoma on hearing about the incident the youths in the community were so upset they went on a rampage in violent search of those who they suspect they could have done this to this little girl. In a short while, the police arrested six people. One of them was her father. And in no time, he confessed to killing her because of her lifestyle and how frustrated he was with her incurable illness that brought ridicule to his family name. He narrated that he was embarrassed about her promiscuous lifestyle. So after one of their arguments, he strangled her. He wanted to end it all. He was tired of spending money for her treatment and he was just not happy that it was not leading anywhere. And worst of all, his daughter would not tell him where she got this illness from. He said that after spending all his savings and finding a cure for her illness, he could no longer cope. So one day, he strangled her while she lay in bed, then dragged her body, tied up both legs, and then threw her into a soccer way to get rid of her once and for all. So this case was transferred to the state CID for further investigation. There's no news out there about what happened to her father, but we know that Chiburama was later laid to rest and that was it. That's it for today's story. Please like and subscribe to my channel to get updates on more stories like this. I also tell short stories on TikTok that aren't available on YouTube. So please follow me on TikTok to stay updated. Thank you for watching and have a good day.